it's time to let these things go and start a new path. But your seeds are not going to be available to be planted until you choose to follow through with what is right for you. These seeds are not even going to be available to you. And that's where the King of Cups also comes in because you are going to have to have the emotional maturity and stability to stand your ground. It's not gonna be easy. People are gonna fight you. People are gonna reprimand you. They're gonna tell you they're, you're abandoning them. But who are you really abandoning when you follow through with their wishes just because they say so? Are you abandoning them or you are abandoning yourself? And if you have to let some other people go and move on just to preserve your sense of well-being and your happiness, then good riddance. Everybody. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your moment, for your day, or for whenever. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with any of these Morning Coffee readings, um, so keep that in mind. Um, also, there is a Morning Coffee playlist. If you would like to check that out, um, go into the, the archives. I've been doing morning coffee for years now. Oh, wow. Um, but, you know, there's a plethora of readings in there. So if you are thinking of diving into the morning coffee playlist, also, um, I know I've mentioned this before, but I feel I should mention it again. If there is a moment, if there's a day when I don't do morning coffee and you're looking for guidance or you just want to have some morning coffee, check the playlist and read through the list, scroll through, scroll through, anything that, any title that catches your attention, go with it, because there's something in there for you. Like if you're just scrolling through, you're reading the titles, reading the titles, and when you read something and, and you get just like a, I don't know, it hits you, or you just feel like, uh, wait, stop. Go with that one, okay? Focus on the titles here, not the dates, especially with um, the early days of morning coffee. They were dated, but all timeless, all timeless. Yes? Cool. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Please excuse me. My vibe is a little bit low right now, um, but that's because I've been having trouble sleeping. And uh, yeah. I guess I should say it this way. This is the way it's coming through, but sobriety does that to me. I have always had trouble sleeping ever since I was a very young kid, like very little, very, very, like a baby, a toddler even. Um, it frustrated my parents when I was, when we were, when I was very little, especially since me and my little sister uh, shared a bedroom, you know, when I was a baby, when we were both babies and I'm two years older. So I was like about two, but then by the time I got, a, as I got a little bit older and older, um, I, <laughs> I guess I had more and more trouble sleeping. I don't know, but I would, I would be up, you know, in my bed singing, just having a good time. And it would, I guess it would disturb my sister and, you know, it, it just, <sighs> I have always had trouble sleeping and I don't like it. And the thing about it, you guys, is that, like, you know, I went, I, I, I went about my day last, yesterday. We did, more, we did happy hour yesterday, but I'm so sorry. I have figured out, sorry, sidebar, but I have figured out what happens if morning or happy hour just, like, disappears. I can't, I can't let my phone go to sleep at the end of the session without closing out the session because if I do that, it deletes it. And I don't know why. It makes no sense, but... So that's why last night's happy hour session is not available. But anyway, yesterday, it went about my day. I did happy hour last night. We ended at a reasonable time. I had dinner, you know, wind down a little bit. I had, I, I had two coron coronitas, the tiny coronas, right? So there was no, I was not drunk when I went to sleep. Okay, I know I did say sobriety and I had beer, but I, I was sober. <laughs> I was sober when I went to bed last night. And I, I thought I was tired. I felt it. I was like, oh, okay, I'm ready. Let me go get, get ready to bed. Got into bed. Could not sleep. Laid there for a while. And eventually I did fall asleep. 
But then when I woke up, I was more tired when I woke up than when I fell asleep. <laughs> and that has always been the thing. Like even when I was growing up, going to school, I could never sleep. And obviously I wasn't drinking alcohol or smoking weed when like, you know what I mean, at that point, but I couldn't sleep. And I would lay in bed all night long. Literally, there would be nights where I would go to bed because, you know, obviously I had a bedtime. We were kids. We get You get bedtime when you're a kid, right? So I went to bed at bedtime and I would lay there for hours and hours and hours and hours would go by. And before you know it, it's like two in the morning and I'm still wide awake. And then finally, I would fall asleep at like three only to have to wake up at six. And then I was expected to go to school and perform. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I, lifelong plague, I don't like it. And many of us deal with that. So um, I'm, I'm interested, I'm wondering, are you guys having trouble sleeping too right now? Oh man, because it's, it's bad. <laughs> It's bad. So that's why my vibe is a bit low today. Um, I'm doing my best to pull it together. Coffee isn't really helping, unfortunately. Go figure. But anyway, we're going to get into this today. We're going to see what we've got for the collective. <sighs> yeah. So let's see. Here we go. High Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Okay, let's get into this. Let's see what we've got for today. Um, also, the fact that I can't sleep has got me in a pretty emotional state. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I just felt this wave of like, I might cry. I don't really know why, but I felt it. So I don't know what's gonna happen in this reading. I just wanna let you guys know I'm already in a little bit of an emotional state, so there may be waterworks. Yikes. All right, but let's see. Let's get into this. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. I've been crying a lot lately, you guys. I mean, I have, I mean, I've got some personal shit going on, but like, the water works, man. It's a, it's a thing. This is four. Holy moly. And this is five. All right. So, let's see. What have we got for today? Overall energy right now is the Four of Swords. So there's a need for rest, a need for relaxation. There's a need to just allow your mind to settle. Whatever it is you need to do to keep your mind at a level place right now, do it. That's the theme for the collective or for, for whatever's going on. Um, Four of Swords. Underneath the Four of Swords is Justice with the Eight of Pentacles to the Eight of Wands. Um, okay, we need to just, we need to just fall back right now, okay? Um, 
I feel like what this is saying here is we have to just sit back and allow the universe to work on our behalf. That's what I just heard because justice is being served eventually over time. Okay. And I know this is not something us as humans want to hear. We want justice now. We don't want to wait for it. We don't want to wait any longer. Things only seem to keep getting worse as time goes on. But justice is being served on your behalf. It's what I'm hearing. And it's being served on behalf of the work you have done, the work you've been doing, the work you continue to do. And that is going to open doors. It is going to create clarity. It is going to create a space or a time period where you can move forward. Now is just not that time. Now, right now, is a time of needing to maintain the balance in our lives and the boundaries we've set up for ourselves, okay? We are going to overcome the past. Six of Cups, Six of Wands. That's going to lead us to a happy future, Ten of Cups. But right now, it is necessary for us to just sit back, fall back, and wait for it. Four of Swords is the overall energy. Okay, now we have four cards that have come out here. All four of them have fallen face down. So this, I feel like this is spirit or the universe giving us a little bit of, <clears throat> a little bit of insight as to what is going on underneath the surface of everything, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So what do we have here? Okay, we have the King of Cups and the Ace of Wands, which are upright. But then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. And we do have one more card. I, I, I want to stop here. And I will mention this other card. However, I'm not going to really read into it too much. But it's the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is the problem for us right now. The biggest problem for us right now. We're lost in confusion. The Seven of Cups is confusion. And the Seven of Cups in reverse could mean that the, the illusion has been broken. Or it could mean that there is an excess of confusion. There is a blockage, depending on the situation. And as of right now, this feels like a blockage. But this feels like a blockage that we cannot do anything about. And it's overwhelming us. And that's why it's in reverse. Okay, but this is why Spirit is asking us to do the best that we can to just get our minds settled. Because the more that our minds run amok and get lost in the confusion, get lost in the what if starts really drumming up all these worst case scenarios, or really, the more you try to make sense of it, the less it makes sense. Spirit is saying to us, it is not for us to make sense of right now. We can't. It doesn't, none of this makes logical sense. None of it. None of what is going on in the world makes logical sense. Okay? It's not for us to make sense of right now. But what it is for us to do is work on being our best selves, work on being compassionate, work on being understanding. Work on being inclusive. Okay? I don't want to spend too much time talking about that Seven of Cups. I want to talk about this here. King of Cups, Ace of Wands. Okay? The King of Cups is an individual, an energy that can weather any storm. That has the emotional maturity. Excuse me. The, worth, the emotional maturity and the emotional foundation to weather any storm. You see how choppy the waters are around him? If it would focus. Um, we just have to stand our ground emotionally. There's a whale in the background. To me, whales represents playfulness, but they also represent in my opinion, they also represent the ability to dive deep. Very, 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 very deep, okay? What I'm getting here with this, you guys, 
King of Cups and the Ace of Wands, there's something that we want to do. Or there's something, there, there's, there's inspiration, there could be inspiration. If you really work on keeping your mind steady and stable, you could find this inspiration. All right. But the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the opportunity just is not there yet. It's not ready yet. It's not a seed. It's not a seed that is plantable yet. And we talked about that last night in Happy Hour. I'm so sorry that Happy Hour got deleted. Um, but we talked about being in a time period where we can plant new seeds. I understand this is a harvest period, but there are arms. There are also some. You know, there are some seeds that you can plant at this time. There are some seeds, some plants that you plant in the fall. And, you know, you go through the fall and the winter season, and by the time spring comes, they're ready to emerge. So even though there may be some harvest here that is available to us, uh, and I feel like that harvest is... I heard personal will. I feel like that with all the work that we've been doing on ourselves, over, over, you know, the, the, the spring the, from last winter, maybe even last fall, through the spring and summer, the harvest here for us is a greater sense of emotional maturity. I know that's for me. I know that is what it is for me. I mean, I've been coming to terms with a lot of the things emotionally right now, but I mean, I'm, a, I'm, I'm much stronger emotionally than I have ever been in my life even though I'm crying a lot, but that's the thing. I'm allowing myself to cry. I'm emotionally aware enough to allow those feelings to flow. But it's this emotional maturity that is going to carry us through the winter months towards the next season, okay? And I also kind of feel like that's, there's a, also a level of determination for the collective right now to just get through it. The seeds will present themselves when the time is right, okay? Um, I'm wanting to move forward here. Should I get clarity or should I pull a little bit more? I'll pull a little bit more and then we'll, we'll move on to clarity. So what else can you say to the collective right now, please, here? Mm. Okay, two more cards, please. Wow, okay, so now the overall energy is the King of Pentacles, all right? And so it's a feeling of being solid in yourself, understanding who you are at a greater level. The King of Pentacles and the King of Cups is a very, um, it's a very good energy. It's an energy of earth and water combined, which go hand in hand between the earth and the nutrients within the earth. And then the nutrient aspect of the wa of water, you know, how we're all, we all need water, right? We're all, we're, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Between the two of them, those are the, the baseline materials that you need to get your seeds to grow. And that's what I feel like we are embodying at this point. So this harvest for us up until now has been this purification process of both our emotions and the physicality of ourselves. Wow, underneath the king of <laughs> underneath the king of pentacles is the queen of cups. Look at that. And then the 3 of wands. And the 8 of cups, but whatever. But what I was saying was between these two energies, your emotional body and your physical body We've been in a purification process, a realignment process, and it's these two materials, the earth and the water, that will give you the ability to grow your seeds whenever they're ready to be planted. Now, you have the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and one more card that's fallen face down. Wow, it's the Ace of Cups, and it's in reverse. Oh, boy. Um... 
You have three aces here, but two of them are reversed. There are some things that need to be cut off, you guys. Straight up and down. There are some things that need to be cut out. There are some elements to your life, there are some situations to our lives that we don't want to be watering any longer. Ace of Cups in reverse. Why? Because we've learned that lesson. And I just heard, stop nurturing things that don't nurture you. We've learned that lesson. We've been there time and time and time again. Ten of Pentacles. It's time to complete that cycle. It's time to move on from this. They just said one more shuffle. Okay, one more. Yeah, you guys, it's really, it's, okay, it's really time to start something new. It really is time to start something new. Uh, you have been delaying this process. You have been prolonging this process. You have the world in reverse now. With the lovers and then the page of pentacles. It's time to start something new. The reason why something has not closed out is because you literally had just have not chosen to close it out. It's your choice, the lovers. But it's a choice of what is best for you or not. It doesn't involve anyone else. It's not their decision to make. It's yours. Why? Because it's your life. I was just talking about this on Patreon yesterday because I'm going through some pretty strong personal struggles right now. It's all a growth experience. I'm really working, really working on wrapping my mind around why this is happening and how I'm growing from it and what I can learn from it and how I can be better, a better version of myself from it. It's not easy to understand, but it's happening. But I was just talking about this because I have this theme throughout my whole life. I have had this theme of putting myself on the back burner, putting my true feelings, my desires, my wants and my needs, what it is I really want to do, either on the back burner or discarding it all together in favor of or in service of what other people want from me. I, I really don't want to get too deep into this and I'm really not trying to speak ill but a huge example of that was my relationship with my ex-husband there was never a moment that I did not love that man never however I knew from the very beginning that this was not a relationship I wanted to be in but I allowed him to convince me and I continued to allow him to convince me until nine years later, it ended in explosive destruction. And all of that, there is, so, there, is, there is so much in my life that could have been avoided. There was so much that happened in that relationship that could have been avoided if I had just listened to myself and done what it is I knew I wanted to do. Part of me landing here in Puerto Rico has been, or at least part of me following through with being here in Puerto Rico, a big part of that. And uh, no, let me say that again. Part of me landing here, a big part of me landing here was the fact that I allowed someone else to convince me to come because, of, because they had their own agenda. 
and they played the game like they were going to be here with me to work with it. And maybe they did have an honest idea or an honest desire to follow through with that, but then the pandemic hit and it changed everything. And that person decided to bail on the situation, but that's because they would not be able to do the work that they needed to do. So it made perfect sense. But I decided to follow through because I had signed a lease, I had made a commitment to the people here, I had already put down a deposit, and I wasn't gonna go back on that. So much of what's happening in my life could have been avoided. So much of what's happening right now. Okay, so I landed here in Puerto Rico, right? But then I still got caught up in a cycle or in a situation where I was letting everyone else around me push me to do things, to follow through with things that they want. And each and every time I did that, the destruction got worse and worse and worse until now I'm faced with a decision or a situation in which I have no choice. There is something that I have to accept because I did that. And the only reason I did that was because I chose to honor someone else's wishes and go somewhere and be in an environment in which I knew I shouldn't have been. And yet, I was there anyway. Oh, well, I got to show up for so-and-so. I've got to show up for so-and-so. I've got, I said I would do this for so-and-so. I mean, I said I did it, so I'm going to, I'm going to do it. But what about me? <laughs> what about my well-being? What about showing up for me? And these are the same people when given the chance, when given the chance, they abandoned me, left me high and dry. And you know what their excuse was? Well, sorry, not sorry. Eh, it happens. Eh, eh, I can't. I'm not going to take responsibility for that. And who's left paying the bill? Answer that self. Answer that for yourself. Who's left paying the bill when those things happen, when you find yourself in those situations? It's time to let these things go and start a new path. But your seeds are not going to be available to be planted until you choose to follow through with what is right for you. These seeds are not even going to be available to you. And that's where the King of Cups also comes in. Because you are going to have to have the emotional maturity and stability to stand your ground. It's not going to be easy. People are going to fight you. People are going to reprimand you. They're going to demean you. They're going to call you selfish. They're going to call you egotistical. They're going to tell you they're, you're abandoning them. But who are you really abandoning when you follow through with their wishes just because they say so? Are you abandoning them or you are abandoning yourself? And if you have to let some other people go and move on just to preserve your sense of well-being and your happiness, then good riddance. It's not easy. Okay, clarification, they're saying. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three.
I want to look at these reversals first, these Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Cups in reverse. So let's start with the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here? Is there... The Emperor. What the universe is saying to you or to us right now is that there are, like I said, there, these something, some sort of opportunity or some sort of seeds to be planted are not going to be available until you make the space for it. And it is a pretty strict and stern situation. It's 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 Saturnian energy that we're that's kind of coming through here, or at least it's that authority of Saturn, because there are there is something about whatever is next for you, or whatever is coming, or whatever it is you can begin to grow or cultivate that certain energies or certain individuals around you do not have a right to have access to. Do not do not do not get to have access to. It's not because they're bad people. It's not because they're less than worthy. It's not because they're whatever. It's just simply because of their vibration. And what I'm feeling is most likely they're going to take advantage of you for it. Or they're going to try and take advantage of that situation. And they are not meant to have access to it. So there's a very protective energy here saying, no, 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 no. You cannot get into this next thing with these people around you. Or this situation around you. Or these energies around you. Absolutely not. And there's one more card here that's fallen face down. It's the Four of Wands. With the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. See, I, what I feel like here is you know that. And maybe there may be some people trying to convince you to stick around. Or something. I don't know. But I feel like you know this. I feel like you are well aware of the fact that you like you've done you've done this work on your yeah see underneath the three of pentacles is the hermit you do know this the ten of pentacles as well you do know this and then look there's the empress the emperor energy here is protecting the empress the emperor energy here is saying we've learned this lesson already we know exactly what this is. We know what the truth is. The Three of Pentacles to the Hermit, we have done our work to get to know more of ourselves than we did in the past, to shine more of our inner light. And thus, that's that, that lesson is complete. Four of Wands, that lesson is complete. But in order to have access to even the fertility of the earth to plant your seeds, you have got to protect that space because somebody's going to come up in here and ransack your garden and not bat a fucking eye. And then when you say to them, what the hell did you do? Why did you just do that to my space? And they turn around and like, <coughs> oops, sorry. And then run off. I didn't mean it. I promise. <laughs> Silly me. Fuck that. Okay. So, Ace of Cups in reverse. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse here? The Lovers. The King of Swords. You guys, it's your choice. Stop watering things that don't nurture. Stop nurturing, excuse me. Stop nurturing things that don't nurture you. Stop it. Yes, unconditional love. Of course. But it's from that unconditionally loving place that you are letting people come in and destroy your garden. They don't care. I'm not trying to say these are bad people. But they're not even self-aware enough to keep care of their own gardens. What do you think they're going to do to yours? They don't even have the consciousness within them. They don't even have the, 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 the self-awareness to tend to tear their own garden. So why? Why deplete yourself? by giving to them when they're not even capable at this moment of giving back. And I'm not saying that they are never going to be capable of it, but at this point, they ain't doing the work. Hold, hold up, 
Hold up. Wait, straight up and down, King of Swords. You mean to tell me that you're gonna do the work for them in your garden and then invite them in to enjoy the fruits of your labor and, ex and you expect them to be respectful of that? What? Uh, King and Queen of Swords. And the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? Inspiration, short. Dry, short. Okay. Ace of Wands. This is the only ace that is upright, okay? And, and, and the fact that the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups is reversed is not a bad thing. I just heard, we just need to redirect our focus. We need to redirect our energy. But what's the Ace of Wands here, please, Spirit? Ace of Wands. somebody some of you here or whomever this reading is for i feel like you want to put boundaries up i feel like you do but you're hesitant about it i feel like you're getting that you're getting that intuitive hit and what's keeping you from really putting those boundaries up is you don't quite understand why you need to I don't know, cut someone off or keep someone at arm's length or not continue to nurture this relationship with them. What you have clarifying the Ace of Wands is the Seven of Wands in reverse and the High Priestess. Somebody here or whomever this rest of this reading is for or whatever, we're having trouble following the guidance of the universe here in placing a hard boundary. It's like the universe or your higher self or your guides are telling you, don't go hang out with that person. Don't talk to them anymore. Don't give them any more of your time and attention or don't do, don't do that job anymore. Don't work at that business anymore. Don't work at that, at, don't, don't, you know what I mean? And you're like, why spirit? That doesn't make any sense. I can't, I just, I can't do that. There's a reason for it. And it's because now I'm getting with the seven of wands in reverse, you add the ace here and that's when you get your eight of wands. Something or someone is holding you back, is hindering your process. And the universe is trying to get you to stop letting that happen. Slowly but surely, you will be able to move forward to something that is more reciprocal, the wheel of fortune. This will change. It's a process. It's not an overnight process. But you've got to take the steps first and persevere through it. Eventually, you'll understand. It's going to be weird for a while. It's going to be awkward for a while. You're going to be alone for a while. But eventually, you'll get it. Because you will see the fruits of your labor and you will understand why you needed to let that go, those toxic relationships go, because they were depleting your resources. And once you have stopped depleting those resources and you can redirect them towards what it is you truly want, all of a sudden you've got this ridiculous harvest that's just like, wow, why did I never have this before? Oh my God, now I get it, spirit. There's a method to the madness. There's a reason for all of this. Stop depleting your resources. Stop pe letting people take advantage. I'm going, I might cry. Stop letting people take advantage of you. You don't have to be friends with them. You don't have to be associated with them. I don't give a damn if it's your... I don't give a damn if it's the closest people in your family, your blood relatives. You know, blood can kill. 
I mean, there are certain diseases that run in your blood. But also, if you, let's say you needed a blood transfusion or, 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 or you needed blood or something like that. You can only get a specific type of blood that your body is is acclimated to or is um, designed to work with. We have different blood types, guys. So even if you were to get a blood donor, you would need the same blood type or you would die. Blood can kill. But water, water can kill too. But if there's no water, you don't have any blood to flow through your veins. Right? Blood is not. Blood, yeah, blood is, blood may be thicker than water, but it damn sure isn't always better. Right? Stop depleting your resources. Stop letting other people deplete you. I want to get a closing message. Eight of Pentacles. This is the work that we're doing. This is the work that we need to be doing right now. Eight of Pentacles. You have the Empress. This is you. The Four of Pentacles. The walls of a fortress. You need to guard this Empress energy with your life. I'm not saying go out there and risk your life for any, like, but like you need to guard this like you've never guarded anything before. The walls of a fortress. Call this Fort fucking Knox. But in order to do that, you have to have the emotional maturity to stand up to anyone that tries or wishes or desires to deplete you. Okay. Queen of Swords. Because we are future focused here. Three of Wands. And it's not even up for debate, you guys. This is not the King of Swords. This is the Queen of Swords. She doesn't play. She doesn't argue. She doesn't litigate. Okay? That's for her counterpart. Save all that bullshit for him. It's not for me. I told you what the truth is. I told you what the result is. I told you what we are going to do here. This is how this is going to go. And if you don't like it, you can kick rocks. King, Queen of Swords to the Three of Wands. Because we are moving forward here. And you can either get with the program. Let me stop for a second. Because I know I'm coming off very fierce right now. This is the Queen of Swords in me coming out now. And I just want to make this abundantly clear. I say this with all the respect in the world, but I do not have the mushy gushy compassion for you right now, okay? Queen of Swords. But we are moving forward here. And you can either get with the program or you can get out of the way. We're not trying to fight anybody here. We don't want to have a battle and we definitely do not, uh, uh, this is figuratively speaking, but we definitely don't want any bloodshed. I am not saying that we are going to start drawing blood from people. It's a figure of speech. We don't want any of that. But if that's the case, then you really just need to step out of the way. Oracle Guidance, Liquid Crystal Oracle. Give me a second, because this is a big old package. <laughs> Yikes, okay, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna throw that there. All right, here we go, guys. Closing Oracle Guidance, yeah? Two more shuffles.
Come on, Eric. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, here we go. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Forty-four, forty-four on the counter. Having more fight. The egoless state. If Hemin Morphite has come to you today, it is a friendly reminder that we are all responsible for our actions. Take a good look at what is happening in life and make sure that you are retaining your personal power and acting from an egoless state. All truthful acts should harm none, benefit all, and stream directly from love in the name of unity. Hemimorphite can also present when there is a need to embrace an important role from another lifetime or when a loved one has recently passed and wishes to communicate with you. Make sure also that you are not being taken advantage of. Make sure also that you are not being taken advantage of. This stone can appear to let you know you need to recover a part of yourself from someone else's creation. Can't make this shit up. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. And I look forward to our next cup of coffee very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye.